Hey guys, you're still here at Victoria University and you're with Dave Frame, who's a climate change professor. So no better person to be talking about this subject than with Dane. Thanks for joining us, Dave. Thanks. So we talked with uh, James just before about the accumulation of carbon dioxide from the burning of fossil fuels that creates like a blanket warming the earth. Um, why doesn't the earth just balance itself out and get get rid of this carbon dioxide? The earth systems do um, scrub out some of the carbon we emit out of the fossil carbon we emit. But the things like that, and that's things like um, the trees and soils and surface layers of the ocean. But about 25% of um, what you emit from the tailpipe of your car uh, is still in the air after 10,000 years and 40% after 1,000 years. And so, so this stuff is just building up and building up in the atmosphere. And there's a pretty straight line relationship between the total emissions of fossil carbon and the warming we get. And, and this is why, because, it's a, because the warming's a function of the total emissions, this is why you don't stop the warming until you stop the emissions of fossil carbon. Fossil fuels are embedded in every part of the, uh, the Earth's energy system and, um, and our e economies. And it would cost an enormous amount, and it'll take decades to get to that point where we're not emitting anymore. Yeah, I mean, you can take an example, say, flying aeroplanes. Um, it's going to take a long time before we've got electric aeroplanes, yeah. for yeah. instance. Yeah, like you say, a whole a whole way of living is is built around the burning of fossil fuels for industry. Yeah, and it it's all those systems changing those systems has a huge amount of of lead time. It's going to take you know the the working lifetimes of most of the kids watching to get on some of these issues like like electric aircraft it's going to take a very long time but it's important that we keep doing it because you don't stop the warming till you stop the emissions um, one of the differences between this problem and other what we call global public goods problems is just how long it takes the amount of um, technology innovation we need the number of sectors involved aviation transport uh, electricity in a lot of countries, tons of different things that we need to innovate on, invest in, and it will take a long time, but it's important that we do it because the climate won't stabilise till we do. Hey, thanks Dave. Lots of, for us to think about going forward on this field trip, and I'm especially interested in that whole science and innovation side of it, because like you guys are going to be part of the solution yeah. to this, and we can start thinking about those things this week. Thanks very much. Great. Thank you. Thank you.